Bart's Health is a, a very large uh, trust. It's a teaching hospital, um, as well as providing services to five sites. So it's a very major trust uh, in the whole of the UK and provides services to all across East London and right out to the East Coast and has referrals from all over the country. Medical physics and clinical engineering provide scientific and technical support to virtually every clinical uh, patient pathway within the organisation. Um, the major features of that support is scientific support uh, through um, the support of the radiotherapy uh, processes, which is the treatment of patients with, with cancer, through nuclear medicine physics, which is the support of uh, patients undertaking nuclear medicine investigations and diagnostics, to radiation safety, which is uh, a team which is ded dedicated to the safe use of radiation of both members of staff and the public uh, as they pass through Bart's Health. Um, and then uh, the, the, I guess the, the last major uh, group within physics is clinical engineering. And clinical engineering take responsibility for all the medical equipment within the organisation across all these sites. Uh, with a few exceptions, which of course are under different contractual arrangements, but by and large, the entire medical equipment uh, stock of equipment for this organisation is managed through clinical engineering. So as an overview, the clinical engineering department at Bart's Health consists of four teams based at each site. So we have uh, trained medical engineers on each site. They look after the day-to-day -day running of all medical equipment. We have a training team based here at the Royal London Hospital which covers all the sites. We have a contracts management team and we also have a governance lead who supports our clinical engineering team. I manage the maintenance contracts for medical devices throughout the Bart's Health Trust. I would say that contracts are kept up to date and are well managed which in turn ensures that medical devices are maintained properly to the manufacturer's specifications. And this helps to ensure that medical procedures are carried out correctly and safely for both patient and staff. So this uh, in essence is to ensure that all medical devices within the trust and in patient use are available, they are safe and they are regularly maintained. And we have a number of ways in achieving that um, and these are externally audited. Uh, my other role is to act as the MDSO, which is the Medical Devices Safety Officer for the Trust, and this is working with uh, outside organisations such as the MHRA and the manufacturers to ensure that any uh, faults, both on patients as well as identified by vigilance into the Trust, are managed so that equipment stays safe throughout its life. I'd like to think that my um, job role here has a positive effect on the care of the patients that we give here on the Adult Critical Care Unit. Myself and my team uh, are responsible for uh, making sure that the equipment is available for the um, staff when they want it and I really hope that that's uh, what I can contribute to this unit. Although I don't work on the coalface, the things that I do actually do make a difference to patient care in the end. Uh, my day-to-day -day activities uh, included PPM repair, acceptance test, MEGAN testing for all imaging system in the five major hospitals in London area. Uh, to resolve the daily challenges that we face, uh, first of all, I think we need to have a fresh uh, mindset, uh, be positive, optimistic that uh, uh, every day is going to be a better day. Uh, for that reason, I think that the best contribution for clinical engineers is to make sure that our engineers are fully qualified, they attend uh, training on a regular basis. Uh, that we offer the right facilities and in our department. When there are challenges, we need to highlight those challenges to our uh, senior uh, managers, so in conjunction with them, we can work out solutions. Today, I'm required to ensure that we are planning our equipment training for our staff across the sites, that we are delivering some of the training, and that we are liaising with our company trainers to ensure that when equipment needs to be, um, uh, staff need to be updated on equipment training, that they can work with us to ensure that this happens. The impact of my role on patient care is very very important um, at the end of the day the hospital relies on anesthesia equipment in the main operating theatres so 
you know, if there's a problem with these, we need to make sure that they're high risk, and they're high risk equipment and they're high priority to get them turned around so we don't have machines out of service. We want more equipment in service. So patients always come first in this situation. So we always try to aim to use that motto in everything we do. Okay, so I do a healthcare science apprenticeship. So um, I shadow um, my senior colleagues um, when they are servicing and uh, repairing equipment. I also um, attend college for extra um, education uh, into the engineering field. I enjoy my role because it involves an extensive engagement with a wide range of stakeholders. And secondly, the output of my work is producing a clear pathway for the clinical engineering workforce of the future. The major challenge is the lack of awareness about clinical engineering role among students, teachers and parents. This makes it difficult to recruit high caliber, technical minded apprentices for the clinical engineering departments. Um, resources with regards to um, training is vitally important, but for me, um, the main resource is actually promoting ourselves. I think we need to um, have a stronger profile in, um, medical, in the medical profession. And I feel that uh, we don't promote ourselves enough. And, uh, and hopefully this small little acorn of promotion today will uh, eventually become a very big oak tree in the future. Every day is a different challenge for us and uh, I enjoy to work with the variation of this work. Uh, I also enjoy the moment when we fix the system and user came with the big smile in the face and say thank you to us. I enjoy my role on a daily basis by working with a very young, effective team members. Um, I guess technology and the growth within our department makes me come, enjoy coming to work, to work and teach and show others what I've learned so that they could be the next generation coming forward. Other than that, on my basis, I like to actually problem solve and deal with um, scenarios that need to be solved in quick periods of time. So having a solution quick to any um, problem is part of my daily activities and problem solving and routine servicing. So I guess I enjoy my work by others being around me and my challenges on a daily basis. Well, I like fixing things and I like solving problems and clinical engineering uh, allows me to do this and um, it's something I really love to do.